this is episode 152 of my Let's Play series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be fixing up the chicken farm, the original chicken farm. So recently, we've been going around fixing up old farms and the old base due to a uh, big world tour that's coming up. So we're making sure all the farms are up to scratch and pretty much working. I've kind of been putting this chicken farm off um, f just because it is old and it's big and it's bulky and it uses dispensers instead of pistons which are fail and there's just so m many things wrong with this farm. This farm does not work as it sits. It's broken. Um, it's full but it's broken so there's many things we're going to fix and wow. So yeah, we might as well get this one over and done with and see what we can do to fix her up and not modify too much of it because seriously if you're going to build a proper chicken farm you'd tear all this down and rebuild it properly um but yeah we can't do that so we'll see what we have to work with um okay so first off uh the bottom area here is broken the the sorting system storage slash storage system is broken um it is full that's what's happened it is it's full right up with eggs eggs are the problem um, it's always been eggs and it always will be the bloomin eggs so as you can see cooked chicken out the wazoo eggs out the wazoo uh, ridiculous amount of chicken which which don't get me wrong is pretty fantastic see I could just do that anytime and have a another stack of chicken um, so that needs to be fixed up that is a definitely big problem there I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do look and I see bloomin chickens out the back crikey escapees this place ah oh, when it comes to escapees this is this is this is the number one place anyway let's go up the top and and I'll, I'll give you a quick show show you around up here um okay so this this part here is where the where the hens uh the mothers are meant to be they lay eggs it gets dispensed down there and lava is meant to cook the chicken the problem is that the, the lava is not meant to be out right now it's only meant to turn on once a day which is a problem because um, the dispensers in Minecraft have a bug or a glitch, I'm not sure. Occasionally, they will fail. They will get the second pulse, but they will not fire. So once the lava's dispensed, a uh, second or two later, it's meant to have another pulse and suck in the lava back up. This was meant to happen, but um, as you can see, after a while that fails. And it doesn't fail from day one, don't get me wrong. If we reset this right now, it'd probably run fine for a couple of weeks. See, look at this cell here. I haven't touched this cell, and this still, cell's still working just fine. But it's got exactly the same redstone and everything. It's just a weird glitch, and that's a huge problem. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Um... This place is just too big. I've, I've designed it way too big um, when it comes to the cells itself. Originally, when I was designing this, I was worried about chickens escaping through the glass in, in a one-by-one one cell, and I figured having a bigger cell would actually prevent that happening, but I was completely wrong. Um, there was a glitch um, in Minecraft, or a bug in Minecraft, quite some time ago where chickens could glitch through the glass and they could glitch out any block don't matter what block you put there they can glitch out it um they, they, were, they were in the redstone at the back they filled this whole thing up it was just a pain in the backside but they fixed that quite some time ago which don't get me wrong that's fantastic so yeah but the cells don't need to be that big the cooking cells anyway you can have the mother cells as big as you want um that's completely fine but these bottom cells i, I don't know we're gonna have to convert them i think over to the piston way because my new method how I do this is I use a piston with holding lava back on a on a quick timed circuit just allowing a blade to come down to cook them and and stop um, so I don't know how we're gonna do it to, for these cells fix to fix that to be honest um, let's go out the back and I'll show you some of the redstone um, before we get started because I'm gonna have to go back to base and get some um, some of the some some redstone and stuff um okay so we're inside here let's go up here probably tons of chickens back here so don't be surprised well let's go down here okay so these are the cells here this is the this is the daylight sensor which will trigger wow this oh triggers the monostable circuit yeah, so I remember this. This is like a double pulse system. 
to for the the um the dispensers so buckets of lava which is good we can get all that back um i don't know how we're going to clean all this up to be honest i don't know how we're going to convert it to the new system i don't know how we're going to shrink down these cells without screwing like hafting to redesign the whole thing uh, that's an all unknown right now i'm just going to have to scratch my head and uh yeah think about it i suppose so let's go back in the main cell there's not much to show much to show when it comes to the redstone i think everybody's watched me ouch build a chicken farm a million times over um let's see if this is all backed up and yes it is i thought so completely backed up as i said it's backed up into the cells itself there is so much so if we go one of these sides should have the sorter there's the sorter here yeah it's all backed up the sorter is backed up right backed up yep <laughs> crikey far out i do not know how we're gonna deal with that that is just so many eggs and so many cooked chickens and so many feathers Whew. we got some work ahead of us to do okay let's let's get a game plan let's do a, let's, let's do a plan real quick okay so what i want to do is shrink these bottom cells down they don't need to be that big reason why because if i was going to use my pistons i would have to use more pistons than one i'd rather use one piston all right instead of four pistons because that would create lag having every single cell hooked up to many pistons holding lava back i think that's not a, a great idea to be honest so we want to get rid of these dispensers let's go to a pen where where there is just no lava so we can go ahead and remove these buckets here so they don't dispense on us and that would be bad i know it'd be funny for some people but yeah okay is it backed up yes yeah, see it's backed up far out hello little chicken okay so as you can see we've got the dispensers here we've got the egg dispenser there which is not backed up so that's good um i don't even know how we're going to do this how are we going to shrink this down and not have to shrink the entire building down um so okay all right so there's two cells both sides so let's go with the t for formation let's do the t that's probably the best way we're going to do this so what i'm talking about is if instead like this dispenser here we have one cell in the middle one cooking cell directly in the middle right here smack bang right here these two these two like hand mother cells here um feed into this one pen in the middle here we can use pistons we can combine redstone on both of these into one instead of two and we can do that for each side and put some nice pattern on the front here um to cover it all up see okay so i think that's a good idea if we can merge this into one cooking cell directly in the center here I think that would be a, a, a huge jump for this farm. A huge, huge jump. We won't touch the top cells. I think they're completely fine. Um, we just have to clean up all the lava. I think that's going to be the first task, is cleaning up, getting all the lava, which we're going to have lava everywhere. So we got buckets in here, but um, some will be empty. Some will be full. It's not going to come out. That's good. See, we've got an empty bucket here. If we can get the lava back... There we go, got the lava back, hold shift down. And we're just gonna have a ton of buckets of lava, I know, but um, at least we can fix it up. See, some some of them haven't even failed, but some of them have. So that's the first thing we're gonna do, is just clean up, get rid of all the lava, clean up, bring some resources back. What do we need? We're probably just gonna need some cobblestone, some redstone just for the back. Uh, piston, oh yeah, we need some regular piston. We don't need lava got plenty of that and we'll recycle the most of the redstone at the back so there we go looks like we have a game plan to fix this old girl up yo whoa, 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 crikey far out ouch dangerous crikey um i've got half slabs so i've got to get in there and i uh, suppose get this lava stopped uh, ow 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 crikey gonna screw it i'm just gonna break that crap i got it i got it i got it i got it holy smokes i'm gonna kill myself that's not good you are joking ow 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 <laughs> crooked 
I just have no scaffolding. Fine, be like that. Give me some scaffolding. Whoa, did you hear that? That is the one a day um, dispense of the lava, which is not good because we're trying to do this. I'll grab that back. All right, so... Uh, what? I took the bucket out of there already? Where's the extra bucket of lava coming from? Well, that's a full bucket. That is weird. That's fine. I'll just do that. Destroy the source. All right, guys. I will be back shortly. And we'll, I'll just remove all the lava and bring some resources over. As I said, we need a little bit of resources before we get stuck into trying to combine these cells together. I'm going to probably cook myself trying to get all these buckets of lava and uh, removing all the, the lava from these cells, which is not a good thing. But uh, I should have brought some empty buckets. Looks like I just used some cobblestone. Crikey, here we go again. Here we go. Alrighty then guys, I am back and as you can see I've gone ahead and removed the mother hens as well as uh, removed all the lava uh, I thought I would just slaughter all the the mother hens So, you know, just in case we have to break the the top cell. We don't have chickens going everywhere So, um, yeah, I went and removed those we've got plenty of eggs down to repopulate once we're done with the renovations and trust me, that felt good killing all those chickens. It felt very good indeed. Okay, so before we get started up here, I've brought up some resources and uh, put these these away. I brought some resources over, and um, what we're going to go ahead and do first is um, we're going to go salvage at least a a double chest uh, full of eggs because I want to break all these chests and start bleeding um, all the hoppers here so that's what I'm gonna do is just salvage the ones I, I want to keep I want to keep at least a double chest full of uh, uh, eggs and a double chest full of cooked chicken which is ridiculous amount um, especially so I'm just gonna just gonna do that anyway just because I want to at least have that as backup and then we're just gonna break all the chests and let all these items despawn. It may get laggy, and if that's the case, we will just uh, take a quick break until they all despawn. Um, I just want to start bleeding as much as, as of this as possible, to be honest. Just as much as this as possible. Oh, there's a lot of cooked chicken. Okay, that is enough there. All right. So what we're going to do is, as I said, break them. Just literally break them. Gonna get all the chests back, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the chest once we got the chest back. So all that's gonna do is spawn. Whoa, that's a lot of eggs! Crikey! So what we're gonna do now is put fresh che the chests that we just broke. Put them back. It's like a waterfall of eggs. It's crazy. So we're gonna put all these back like that. So what that's gonna do now is start draining in, uh, draining all the lines into these chests here. And we're gonna do that for each one of these. Just do it for all of them. Getting rid of all, it's gonna get crazy laggy in a sec, guys. Very crazy laggy. Just doing it for all of them. Just gonna take them all out. So this is good, because then that's gonna, don't have to do this lady la later. I cannot believe how laggy my FPS is right now, but it must be done. Woo wee talk about swimming and chicken right now eggs and feathers as well boom there we go whoa whoa that is laggy almost no fps all right guys i'll be back once all this despawns all righty then guys i am back and they've actually all despawned and it is still draining in like literally there we go it's up to this chest now on this row each row will be literally draining in as we speak which is fantastic we're like bleeding all the lines which is uh which is good so if we have to destroy all the chests again to to clear the lines we will but um for now all the chests are brand new and they're all filling up draining all those lines which is what we wanted Okay, so let's go ahead and go back upstairs, and we're going to go pick a cell. Um, we started damaging this side the most, so I guess we're going <laughs> to do some um, work over here. So what we'll do is just take out a nice, decent chunk here. We'll take out 
those. We'll grab our dispensers back off both sides. Grab even grab the half slabs back because we can get rid of some of these hoppers and get those back. Um, yeah, see everything's draining in nicely. Wow, still full on the main line though. So that there, that line there should be the main line. Yes, it is. So that's the main line. Do not break that line. But we can break those two there. Get those back on both sides. Break those two there. So yeah, the main line's slowly draining out. We might have to do the chest thing again. So we want to merge these two cells together. And same with the redstone. Okay, so the dispensers. Alright, so what we'll do is just cut our way back here. This is a dividing wall right here, which divide the two cells, two separate cells. But we don't want that anymore. We're merging it into one. So grab, remove all this real quickly. Just remove it all. There we go. That's as far as we can reach. All right. So we can, we definitely need to keep as much as we possibly can when it comes to all this redstone, especially these daylight sensors and just, just all this good stuff here is, can come out. All right. So all this can come out. Just strip it. Strip it all out. Well, we didn't need to strip that far back, but yeah. I'll grab all this back. Make sure we're gathering it up. Okay good stuff whoop hole on the floor which is not a good thing get rid of that there we go okay and there we go oh no no there's not we go take all this out this is just the back of the cell fantastic far out I can't believe I'm back here working on this farm again why am I using my shovel, you Fruit Loop? Oh, there's the dispenser there. We need that. Alright, grab that back. Okay, grab these back. Alright. Alrighty then. Okay, so that's the dispenser, the original dispenser that dispensed into uh, the bottom cells, which it has to be moved. So we need to modify the top cell because, yeah, I thought so. Alright, so we're going to go up here, break this. Break this. And we're going to modify those two to go this way instead of that way. Because this is the center cell. So we should start from the ground up. I don't know why I'm starting some of the things. Because I have no clue how all this is going to sit. So let's grab some glass, which I brought two stack, I mean, four stacks over, actually. Um, so I guess the main cell has to sit on top of that. That is fine by me. We will use, not woods, because there's going to be lava involved. We can use the original half slaps. Okay. Okay, there we go. I have pistons. Alright, so we're just building the the actual, what's it called? The, uh, the cook room, or where the babies go to grow up to get cooked. I hear you, nasty. Okay. Alright. Where is he? I don't know where he is. All right, let's continue. Build up the sides here. So this is going to be the new center cell. We want everything coming into the center here. Um, that will extend nicely. So we want the dispensers to be there. Okay, nice and high. Where are you, dispensers? The uh, dispensers. Okay. And we don't want aiming down like that. What? Stop that. Oh, cracky. Fine. Be like that's going to be difficult. Dispenser there. And dispenser there. Okay. Yeah. All right. That'll be, that's fantastic. That is fine. Lovely. So we'll put a front back on this now. Okay. So when we can bring... Oh, we'll use wood for that bit. We'll leave this open here. Yeah, see, it's going to be nice. And we can put a, we can fill all this in and put some sort of wood pattern in there later on just to fix her up. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got to hook the, the laying cell into the rest of the system, which is quite easy. I have some hoppers, which are recycled. Oi, I need that glass. Bam. Okay, same with that side, which we got to... I can see that problem. There we go. Okay, so that's fixed up the, the mother cells right there. The mother cells are nice and done. Now we can build this up. 
here. This is where the lava is going to sit. So we're going to make sure it is definitely surrounded on both sides with some stone. Um, okay, what do we got? What do we got? Two of those. Okay, so lava's going to sit there. This is going to be extended there. Okay, all right. So what we got to do is put in the 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 redstone for dispensing the eggs. All right, which just as quickly, easily comparator, repeater, comparator. Oh, looks like we're going out a little bit further here. There we go. More redstone. I'm just using recycled stuff at the moment. I'm trying to avoid using more materials, which I did. I did bring over just in case, but there we go. Switch that on. Bam. So anything that comes into the line now, anything at all, cobble. See? That's what we want. Okay. All right. That's exactly what we want. I want the same thing on the other side, but I don't know where all my comparators are gone. So I have to go down and grab my... Grab my... 20 that I brought over. Lovely. Let's get back up here. No, I can't get up. Crikey. Alright, fine. I'm going all the way around. Okay. Alright. Same thing. So we repeat. So it looks... This is going to squeeze in here nicely by the look of things. So we have the lava in the middle here and uh, the redstone on both sides here. It's going to squeeze in just nicely. Um, same thing as the other side. And redstone. Bam. Okay, so that fixes that problem. That fixes that problem nicely. So now we need to hook up down here. We need access to this, this um, piston here. Okay, so now we're going to just give it a signal. Which is quite easy. That. That's not powering anything, is it? No, it's not. Hmm. Okay. We've got to put a block here because, yeah, lava's meant to sit on top of that block. I am a fruit loop. So we have to bring this back by one. There we go. Lovely. Ooh, okay. So it's compacting it down into one nicely. So now we need the uh, the hopper clock, uh, the, the timer, the clock to... to to time when to bring this piston down and how long and etc etc so we've got our two hoppers in here so what we're gonna do is if we can if we put it in here then the yeah that should be nice okay so let's start off with comparator so I know where it's going repeater there block there okay so now we're gonna grab Making a just a clock just to hold the a timer just to hold out the the signal. You guys know the drill. I, I shouldn't have to walk you through what I'm doing because uh, all these circuits are on pretty much exactly how I normally would build the all these chicken farms um, here. So yeah, you should guys you should guys should know this already off by heart. Actually, how many times I've done it. I would say 10, but that's adjustable for later. 10, I don't know, that's probably way too much. All right, that's great. It's fantastic. So this here, when triggered, will actually hold out the, um, which we can get a button right now and I can show you guys, will we'll hold out the, the piston for long enough. We'll with track the piston, so we come back here. Yep. The lava spews out over the side stop see that's too long i can tell that's just way too long right there okay let's continue we still need a couple more components of the the actual farm to make it work properly so th the second component here would obviously be the mono stable circuit which is meant to pulse this and to turn it on so let's go build the mono stable circuit and we'll build this probably on top like i would normally do right if we can somewhere in the center here just above everything and away from everything because uh, it might mess with some things. So, build it here. Can we get rid of this wood? Thank you. Yes, we can. Sorry if it's a bit dark. There we go. Lovely. 
All right, redstone torch there. Redstone torch here. Hook these two up together, and bam. So we need to put a also put a repeater in the middle with a few ticks on that bad boy. There we go. Mono stable circuit successfully hooked up. And then we need to. Man, I wish I knew where that damn spider was. It's driving me up the wall. So now we need this to run out. Run down here. Avoiding all that. Somehow. He's gonna... Oh. Yeah, that torch... No, that torch is fine. I thought that torch might activate something. Down. And get rid of that. That's what we want. And just run it into there like that. There we go. So now, if we trigger the mono stable circuit really quickly, just to, just to make sure it's all uh, working properly. Yep, I heard it just go off fine. So all we need is a daylight sensor so it triggers once a day. See how easy that was? Fantastic. So what we're going to do is take our daylight sensor here, throw it down, it should, wow, nearly exactly where it was. So it's dark time. So I think there will be no signal at the moment. Nope. So as soon as the sun comes out, that will give a signal. And pretty much, actually, we could probably move this one over. Um, if we move this one over, it could sit on top, really. Um, but that's fine. So once this, um, once this, once the sun comes out, the signal will go off. So when the sun is going down, that's when the monostable circuit should work. Should. I don't think I'm missing anything. I built this a million times. If so, I'll find out. There we go. Fantastic. All right. And there we go. There's one cell pretty much complete. Compacted into one. Um, so now all we have to do is put the lava in. Obviously, that is definitely has to go in. We have to rip this up. Uh, no, we don't have to rip that up. We don't. I'm just worried about the lava starting a fire. This whole thing's made out of wood and that's all you need. You do not need a large fire happening in here at all. Okay, so we need to get back up there and in there and pour this bucket of lava at the back, which is not a problem. Alright, get in here. Pour the lava in the middle. How fantastic is that? Look how close that was. And to be safe, I'm actually going to remove most of this and replace it with cobblestone. Just, um... Just to be on the safe side, you know, just a few away from the, few away from the, the lava itself, and we'll seal this up so they'll, they'll dispense the eggs there, no problem. And there we go. All right, so let's get the timing right for the the piston here, because obviously it's way too, it's going to be way too what's we call it. So let's put that down so we don't have lava go everywhere. Let's force a a circuit to go off. If we put a button there, can we force that? Yes, we probably could. Nope, we're not gonna... Oh, man. Alright, button on the bottom. Button on the bottom. Give me that back. Alright. So it comes down, cooks the egg, chickens. See, that's, that's way too much. And now we're gonna have lava everywhere! Holy smokes, I need scaffolding! Crikey, far out. See, that there was way too long. So we're going to cut that in half immediately. Bring that down to five. Okay, see how that goes. So remember that the, the, the chickens, when they grow up, you know, they're meant to just have that lava bait blade just to kill them. That's all they're meant to do. So, whoops, the button's here. Just a lava blade. Oh, perfect. That will cook them. There you go. That will cook them, and it's it will work 100% unlike the dispensers. So we're going to go ahead and take some glass now, and we're literally going to seal it up, which is normally... It's not normally too thick, but this time around I have to do it too thick. I'm going to take some of this wood that um, we've got here, and just... Well, what am I doing that for? And we're just going to do a... I keep hearing that spider and it's freaking me out. And if we can... Whoa. 
The rest of it went off, but that didn't go off. I think it's when the sun goes off because that's inverted, if I remember correctly. That is all good. Oh, don't worry. I'll double check and make sure that um, that piston comes down. If it doesn't come down, I'll fix it. Okay, so what we want to do is bring that down like that. Yeah, see, that's ugly, to be honest with you guys. I don't like showing the piston like that, but, you know, this farm is not really meant to be designed to what we're doing right now, and it's kind of disappointing. Oh, look, it went off. Yay, it did, it went off. I was worried that it wouldn't go off, but it did, it went off. Fantastic. So what we'll do is just uh, do a nice little pattern here, maybe something with the wood like that, and uh, maybe bring it across like that. You know, just, just something nice with the wood here, and then we can seal it all back up, and that one, that side is actually done and ready to take. Let's uh, put some torches back here so we don't get no nasties. This side's ready to take on um, some mothers. And, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And I've just got to replicate that on each side now. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. See? It's like a T-shape. Actually, I'm going to bring that up one more high. That looks a little bit weird to me. Let's go ahead and bring this up one high. There we go. Lovely. And replace that with cobble. How does that look? Oh yeah, that's that's nice. I like that. See, it's merged into one. We have one working cell now. Now I've just got to do that to the rest of the sides here. Oh, crikey. Alright, back to work. And then we've got to put the, the, the adult chicken... Well, some baby chickens in there and off we go. Alright. Alrighty then guys, I am back and I've done all four sides and she is complete. She is now a fully working chicken farm all over again. As you can hear, I'm very sorry about the, the noise right now. All the, the mother hens have, uh, it's stocked up there. I think I put a bit too much to be honest with you up there. But as you can see, there is a ton of baby chickens there at the moment. They will not cook, cook due to, that's why the half slabs there because they're only half a block tall. So the lava will actually stop. Only only cook the the adult ones. Um, but as you can see, all the way around, um, none in that one yet. None in that one. But yeah, it is complete. We've converted over to a, a single cell cooker and um, cleaned it up quite a lot, especially the redstone at the back. I have quite a lot of redstone left over thanks to that. Now down here, not much has changed. I've went ahead and broke all the chests again because literally, I'm not joking, all the chests literally filled up again with just junk. Uh, well, not junk, but uh, non-cooked chooks, cooked chooks, far out eggs, out the wazoo. It was ridiculous. So I broke all the chests all over again um, and then it f finished draining out and I went and reset all the filters. So all the filters are now working. Chicken will be in chicken, you know. They're all in the proper chest now. So that is fantastic. What it will actually need is an overflow system. Um, unfortunately, we ran out of time today. That was uh, quite a little bit of work converting all those cells upstairs. But it does actually need an overflow system because the, the chest... The, the egg chest fills up so quickly. Now, you could possibly put in a recycler. Um, what I mean is, um, instead of the eggs coming down here for storage, you could um, send them back upstairs to be um, reshot into the cell. And that's you could do that. But, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that for this farm. Um, yeah, I think we are definitely done. So, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 152. Join me for episode 153. Um, where we'll probably be continuing fixing up on a, f fixing up another farm, not sure which one, um, yeah, so, um, oh, it's gonna do its first cook soon, I think when the sun comes up, or, did the sun come up or go down, I, I, I forgot, but it will do its first cook soon, I wish I could show you guys on camera its first cook, but, uh, yeah, it's all perfectly timed and, and everything, I like it. So now I've got to go transport all this stuff home and clean up. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.